All right, still to come on Wake Up Today, he has been on the job for 100 days. What does the Navy Region Hawaii's commanding officer think? What lies ahead? We'll chat when Wake Up Today returns. We're back on Wake Up Today, and he is the uh, commander of Navy Region Hawaii, which uh, includes Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam and Pacific Missile Range Facility, the Naval Forces over on Kauai. He's also commander, Naval Service Force, Middle Pacific, in charge of the 11 surface ships home ported here in Hawaii. Here to discuss his first 100 days in office, if you will, or at least uh, in command, is Rear Admiral Frank Pons. Good morning to you, Admiral. Good morning. Hey, tell me about, first off, it, it's a, our first chance to sort of sit down with you here on Wake Up Today. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your career and, and what brings you here, sir. Well, first of all, thanks for having me here. Uh, it's great. Uh, the weather's great, and uh, the ride here this morning was great as well. I'm from Alabama, small town from Otagaville. Uh, I went to the University of Alabama in 1983, and uh, I attended OCS, and that's where I got my commission as a surface warfare officer. Since my commissioning, I had an opportunity to serve around the globe in missions such as OIF in Iraq, OEF in Afghanistan, and humanitarian assistance missions in Haiti and Bangladesh. I'm married to Carol Hayes of San Diego, and we have two tremendous adult children. All right, that is good stuff. Roll yeah. tight, roll. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's had to get that one in. Anyone who knows or watched the show, it's a it's a big deal for me. How would you describe your first hundred days uh, uh, as a commander of Navy Region Hawaii? First of all, I have the best job that the Navy could offer in the best place in Hawaii. But before I talk about that, that let me talk about the team that I have. They are very capable, very confident, men and women and civilians alike. I mean, they do what needs to be done day in and day out. When I first got to Hawaii, I had the privilege and the honor to participate in the 70-year anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. It was a very moving and memorable event. Over 5,000 veterans, military personnel, families and friends participated in that event. When I saw those veterans, I knew what it meant to be back there 70 years ago. It was a very prideful moment for their sacrifice. Since then, I've had the opportunity to go out into the community, into the neighborhoods, and walk side by side with those members. I had the chance to serve in the homeless shelters. I've also had the chance to participate in festivities over the holidays. No matter where I went, my wife and I, we always felt like family. It was a warm embrace. You could tell that Ohana was in the air. We really enjoyed ourselves. Well, I like the fact that you've got that down. You understand the Ohana. We had Admiral Greenert here earlier uh, last month on Wake Up Today, and he talked a little bit about the strategic importance of Hawaii, Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Greenert. What is the importance? I mean, it's a, this is a pivotal spot on Earth, is it not? Oh, yes, it is. Admiral Greenert has repeatedly referred to Hawaii as the gateway to the Asia Pacific. And I agree with that totally, absolutely. When you hear the president talk about pivoting toward the Asia Pacific, when you pivot, what you see is Hawaii. Hawaii is, has been, and always will be critical to the nation's strategic objectives. We can do everything that needs to be done from here. It's an extension of the mainland. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you stopping by on Wake Up Today. And as you said, uh, the gateway to the uh, Asia Pacific is so very important. And it's a great opportunity to meet you. I, I enjoy uh, any Alabama alum is a good friend of mine. So uh, next football season, we should have you over and watch some football games. How's thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Admiral. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it very much. Admiral Pons, Rear Admiral Frank Pons, thank you so much. Thank you. Wake Up Today is going to continue.